Wait, let's say our pronouns real quick. I'm a he. I'm a starfish. You and I are sick. You walked into a lion's den. Damn. You wouldn't know that it was human meat until they said to you, human carpaccio. When I think about eating people, not only do I think about how they would taste, but I also like to think about their personality. Walked into a lion's den. Just call me my guy and we're good. Yeah, call me my dude. That's yeah. it. <laughs> You sound like the dumbest robot me. I am the dumbest robot. Yeah. Thank you for listening to Splitting Hairs. On this podcast, you're going to learn about yourself. I'm Asha Sozano. My name is Chris Metcalf. We're all, we're all lizard people anyway. Dude, you look so much better than you did yesterday. Yo, thank you. I I was telling you before we started recording that I, so for people listening, I don't know if we're starting yet, yeah. but like I got food poisoning, I think, from this cheesesteak that I ate. And I... Pretty much threw up all day yesterday, and it was like a I was like a sprinkler, like <laughs> coming out of both ends. Yummy, all day. yeah, it was good. It was good. <laughs> Delicioso. Yeah, and uh, I just couldn't keep anything down, and I moved. You know, I was here. We were mm-hmm. going to record, and I felt like shit. And I thought I was going to be in the pocket because you were really tired. You were like, "Oh, I'm so tired. I'm yeah. so tired." And I was like, "Okay, at least I'm not the only one today." And then I just kept going to the bathroom here. I did actually throw up one time here. I didn't want to make a big thing about it, so I didn't tell you. (laughs) I actually did throw up, and I thought it was because I didn't eat anything, and I ate late the night before, and I was stressed out because I'm also simultaneously, like, moving into my apartment right now, and it was hot out, and I think I just – I thought I just had, like, a bout of stress, and it just, like, came out in, like, a throw up, but no, it was food poisoning. So I I kind of knew you threw up only because I walked in there after you and it didn't stink. <laughs> <laughs> and so I just left it alone. I was like, I'm not going to say if he doesn't want to like, it's none of my business what was going on in there. But I came out and I looked at you and this was before you, we you even like went to the bathroom a couple of and times. And admitted that I was like had food yeah. poisoning. Yeah. Well, you didn't even think you had food. I told you. Right. Yeah. I told you you had food. Yeah, poisoning. you did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm a doctor. I diagnosed him. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you're the uh, what was the other thing we just figured out? The oh, the dream guru. You're a doctor and a dream guru. Doctor oh, dream yeah. guru. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In the last episode, um, I came out the bathroom and I looked at you and you were pale and sweating. <laughs> And I was like, are you okay? (laughs) And I was like so happy that you spoke back in regular words because I thought you were turning into like a zombie. (laughs) And the whole time I'm like, damn, Chris got the J&J shot. Like, this is it. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, where I'm like, (laughs) yeah, I'm like ready to just fucking brains. But I was cool because I knew where my drill was, my hammer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were gone. Right for the brain. Yeah, Yeah, done. (laughs) You were over. Yeah, it was bad. It's weird. Well, I didn't tell you that I threw up because I I always feel like people get like weird with like throw up. Like it's just like people are always like, what? Oh, you throw up like like and I just didn't want to make a deal out of it because in my mind I was like hoping like ah, this wave will come over and we'll do the episode. You just didn't want to be vulnerable. I, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's that it's that moment when you're sick and like you're really sick when and you, you first don't... get bit and you're like, nah, I'm good, dude. <laughs> yeah. I'm good. When you get the J&J shot and you're like, ah, bro, it's fine. I'm good. I got this lump that looks like an arm. Yeah. Like a third arm, but I'm good. I'm bro, good. I'm solid. I, f- I fell into that plant of toxic waste, yeah. bro, but I'm good. <laughs> it's fine. This is nothing. Well, I knew I knew you had food poisoning because I've been there before. And I was like, well, what was the last thing you ate? And you were like, a Philly cheesesteak. And I'm like, from where? You're like, some pizza shop. And I was like. Yeah, you probably have it. Yeah. 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 You probably have it. I I mean, at least you got it from a Philly cheesesteak, though, because I got it from a salad once, and nothing feels more betraying than getting it from a salad because you're trying to be healthy. And it's like, you fuck me, you motherfucker. I'm trying. I don't even want you right now. I should have just been fat. Yeah. I should have stuck to my DNA. I could have just had some light sweats for a bit and put on another pound. Who cares? And now you're getting me sick. Yeah. I could have had just like a little bit of chub rub in the summer. Right. But now I have food poisoning. Right. (laughs) Where'd you get the salad from? It was like some restaurant. I just, I I got like, I got like chick grilled chicken breast and a salad. That's even worse. Cause I, cause it's so boring. Cause I, cause I bust your balls like a little bit. If you said like, oh, I got it from like a fucking shitty gas station, like Mm -hmm. a pre-made salad. I'd be like, okay, well there's your problem. But you actually went to like a regular kind of normal place nice place 
And, and you still got fucked. I ordered it. I was ordering out. And I remember I was had just started talking to Kate and like before we were dating and I was talking to her and she was like, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm starting. I think I'm going to get a chicken with salad. And she was like, why would you do that? Just get pizza. And I was like, no, I've already eaten bad this week. You know, like I can't, I don't like to do that like twice. And then I just fucking, <sighs> yeah, it was brutal. That fucking sucks. Yeah. I wonder how that shit works. Like, like. If you get sick, whether it's a cheesesteak or a salad, is it like just one bite? Is it like one certain bite that gets you? Or mm -hmm. is it like just a whole batch? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Is it, do I got a bad batch of salad? Like, could I have, like, if you brought that salad over here, yeah. or I brought that cheesesteak and like, I took the bad bite and then it's like Russian roulette. Like, is it like that? Like, oh, this one piece of lettuce has a lot of poop on it. The, <laughs> and then the rest of it's fine. When you said that first, I was like wondering if in your head you were wondering, like, if I feel something, should I just put the food down or just continue to house it? Like, be like, fuck it. I already got it. <laughs> I already got it. Let me eat the whole thing. Right, right. Yeah. Now, I don't know how it works, but I know that it destroys you. And yesterday you were in, in good old Ashland fashion, you're like sitting there on the couch and just you're like, you're not feeling, you, your eyes are even. And it was even worse too is that I was like, babe, babe, he doesn't look good, right? Yeah, yeah, you're both like looking at me like, yeah, he doesn't look, the, it's the eyes. Yeah, it's the <laughs> eyes, it is, it's the eyes. They're sunken in. They're very sunken There's in. There's something weird about them. Yeah. And like, I, I had to stop myself. The only thing was that I was like, am I like, am I tired? So am I hallucinating or like just not seeing you right? So like in my head, I like really was like, he doesn't look good. Right. And then, um, and then, but it, it makes it worse when you're sick and people are like, yeah, you look awful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you do. Cause you even feel you're like, I'm dying now. Now I'm dying. <laughs> well, you know what it was? It, it, it honestly didn't annoy me that you guys were doing that. It was funny. What was weird was, was, as you, the it was like the minute I got here and like right after I threw up and then started you saying that you thought I had food poisoning, that's when it started like kicking in. And I'm not saying that you guys like made it happen, but it was just like funny that like you were calling it out as it was happening where it, was, it wasn't <laughs> like I had gotten it earlier and then nah. showed up. Or we did the show and then it happened later. I bet you it's only because you realized. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's, it's like, you know, when you're like, that edible ain't shit. And then that's the moment. Like, yeah. boom. It's probably because you realize right there, like, oh, shit. I probably do have food poisoning. And then, yeah. then like, once you're diagnosed, you're like, okay. Like, it's like when you break, like, when you break something and everyone's like, it doesn't hurt. And you're like, no. And then they're like, oh, yeah, it's broken. Then you're like, ah. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. Like, I remember I broke my wrist once because I saved my brother on an ATV. It's all right. He never thanks me. <laughs> Sometimes you have to be a thankless hero. It's okay. I live with it. What, wait, did you really save him on an ATV? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saved his, like, leg. Well, what happened? Well, I was driving it. <laughs> <laughs> so it really just panned out to zero. Yeah. <laughs> I was driving at like full speed in Puerto Rico and I was we were doing like circle turns and I like just lost control of it and it tilted over this way and like while it was tilting in the air I had let go of it but his leg was going to be under the ATV like his his uh right leg and so I held on to the ATV handles and then I kicked uh the back cuz he was in the he was on back of me I kicked the back with my feet so my ha my hand stood there so I left my hand on the handlebar, so if it landed like that. Oh, yeah. so like, so it like fell and didn't land all the way to the ground, like it had like space. Yeah, because I held on to it to kick it with my feet to kick the back with my feet, and so it just landed on my. Uh, and like, I got up and it was like, it was numb, but then I was fine, and it was kind of bothering me, but it didn't feel broken. And then I came back to New York. Then I went to the hospital and they were like, I'm surprised that you're not in this. And, and like, they gave me Percocets. Like I was like 19 too, but that's like, that's when they were giving out Percocets like right. Advil's. You know what I mean? They right. were just like pushing them on people and they gave me Percocets. And that's when future was big. <laughs> you know, the rapper future, he likes Percocets a lot. He raps about them. Yeah. The only rapper. For, the all, my <laughs> for all my perk raps. For all my future fans yeah. listening. <laughs> I know he does perks. For I'm all my cool. big future fans out there, he does a lot of Percocets amongst other hip-hop artists of the contemporary time. 
<laughs> and I know that because I listen to rap. I listen to the hip hop stylings <laughs> of Future and other artists. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> it wouldn't be splitting hairs if you just didn't like <laughs> throw some like random knowledge in there, wouldn't it? It wouldn't be like you gotta go. I gotta let you go off the handle, right. you know? <laughs> Come yeah. off and go back. Well, there. Yeah. yeah, we'll talk about future later. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, yeah. We'll go. We'll yeah. go. We'll go through all of them. But yeah, they were they were giving out Percocets, and um, I remember after the doctor was like, "Yeah, it's broken." That's when I was like, "It does. It hurts. It, it does, does feel broken." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Wait. It, do they cast you up? Yeah, but it was weird because I only broke like this part of my. So I was only cast like right here. Right. But it, but it must have been like purple and shit, right? No. Really? Yeah. It was like weird. Like I broke a certain bone and like I never got it fixed. Like it, I was supposed to get like some type of surgery and it hurts every once in a while. But right. um, no, it wasn't black and blue. It was like I broke like a a, a little bone. Oof, that's rough. I've broken both of my siblings arms or legs okay because i was because you said i broken both of my siblings and i'm like but like they're like arms or like legs yeah. right but when you said i've broken them I well that like, too i've broken I'm spiritually like, emotionally yeah. mentally yeah you're like i sit them down when they're five years old and i mm -hmm. stare them in the eyes chris metcalf's boot camp yeah how yeah, did you I've break their down. arms uh the well this my brother well one of them was like i mean i didn't do it on purpose we were like had this huge hill and I like built this big ramp mm -hmm. and we were taking them off with the sleds snowing or uh, when it sn snowed and I fucking built this big ramp <laughs> <laughs> and I sent Sean down it <laughs> and he fucking broke his arm. You didn't send yourself down it? Uh, I think I went down first, yeah. but I probably like knew he shouldn't have gone down it, but he went down. It. I just was like, do it. <laughs> And he it. fucking flew. And then I remember when he broke his arm, he was like in all his snow stuff. So he's like, I think I hurt my arm. <laughs> he's like coming over to the fucking door. My mom was telling him, you're fine. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> it still looks together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It wasn't like terribly broken, but he did have to be in a cast for How like a few months. How did you break Aaron's? Her, we were like wrestling uh, like on the bed. Like, like she was like a little kid. Like, you know, you're like pick a kid up and like pretend like you're like throwing him around. And I did like a. Chris is like. 20 years older than his sister. 10, 10, 10. <laughs> You're like 26, she's tw six. <laughs> well, I was like, no, it was more like I was like 16 and she was six. Oh, much better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> much better. And we were like on my parents' bed and I was like picking her up and like dropping her on the bed and I just, she fucking landed wrong and broke yeah. her arm. You see, you're breaking their arms, I'm saving them. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, did they thank you for breaking their arm? No, I'm fucking no, with you. They no. Didn't thank you. I actually thought about that for a minute. I was like, wait, no. You're like, I should be thanked. They wouldn't do. Yeah, they, yeah. I made you stronger. Yeah, I gave you character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I was really worried about you. Yeah, well, the night didn't get much better because then I like got in the train, almost thought I was gonna throw up on the train, so was being nice and got off the train so I wouldn't throw up all over it. Though in hindsight, I should have just gone in that middle part mm -hmm. of the two trains and puked off that. But anyway. Oh, yeah. That would have been great flying right back at your face. Yeah, right. I know. Well, that was my logic. I was like, this shit's going to go spraying everywhere. It's going to be yeah. all over me. I'm not doing it. So I got off, but then the train didn't come. I walk. I threw up all over the street. That was fun. And then my bed didn't show up, so I slept on a cardboard box in my new apartment on the floor. <laughs> new York is back. Back, baby! You slept like a homeless man, but you paid fifteen hundred dollars yep, for a it. a month for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's back, baby. Upper West Side, <laughs> moving on up. <laughs> you know what's so funny? I got into the apartment. Uh, I got into the apartment, and I'll be honest, my memory. I thought it was bigger than it was, and then I called the guy that that sold it to me, and I was like, "Hey, man, I think we got the wrong apartment." He was like, "No, dude, it's the right apartment," and I was like, "Fuck." <laughs> I, like, really thought my apartment was bigger. <laughs> and then you threw up all over or, it. Yeah, and then I threw up again. I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what it probably was? You've probably, this is probably what happened to you. You probably kept seeing small apartments, like, smaller than and that. And that one looked so big. Compared to what, you've see, what you were seeing that day. And I also saw, like, so many apartments in that, like, 48-hour yeah. period that, like, it just, it's it was the same shape. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> but just a lot smaller than I remembered it. You're like, fuck, I live in a closet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like, dude, I could get in the closet, but I can't really find the apartment. I had big plans for this yeah. place. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't happening. <laughs> You're barely going to fit your bed in there. Yeah, yeah, now I got small plans for it. Yeah. <laughs> oh i feel for you that, feel that for you. the guy on the other end of the phone got real nervous i'm not gonna do his accent because it's not the time but yeah it's not the time ryan chung is his name it's not cool guy time. no yeah it, it's it's because of the time <laughs> but, though but he it's was not because of the morals it's the time <laughs> it's the time it's the time once the time passes it's just it's fine it's it's a certain threshold and then it's fine again but it like really would be how he would talk though it's not like i'd be like hamming it up no keep going keep going keep (laughs) grab the shovel man you need me to get you a towel or a (laughs) water bottle i love how by the way like this like this is like the new like risky now in 2021 like us talking about me doing an accent that shouldn't be done. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like stern in the 90s and the early 2000s. I'm not saying it was okay. It's progressive. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But like now this is like somebody watching this could be like, oh, he almost did. And now they're talking about like, do you know what I'm saying? Well, it's more like he he thought about it. <laughs> right, right. And then he still wants to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's more what it is. It's still progressive, but there is still something wrong about right, it. Yeah, right, yeah, 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 right, right. Yeah. I keep saying we should just go back in time. I don't know why we keep going forward. Right. <laughs> I don't know why, as humans, we're deciding to be better. You know, we're just putting ourselves on pedestals we can't, we can't do. Come on, we're not that great. Yeah, we are not that <laughs> we great. are not that great. Yeah. I mean, talking about being not that great, happy Pride Month, right? Yeah, for real. <laughs> happy Pride. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I was making sure it was still on that <laughs> side. I was like, fuck, is it not on that side? <laughs> it was. You just, just weren't participating. It's just like so straight of you. Happy Pride. Cheers. Happy Pride. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's why <laughs> That's why you guys should not want more straight people getting involved in the Pride because that's what it will It will turn into like a drinking month or something like that. Yeah, it will turn into St. Patty's Day. <laughs> yeah, and what, yeah. And what Cinco de Mayo is. <laughs> yeah. We'll just we st- colonize the shit out of yeah, pride. Yeah, we still want people to hate it. Yeah, when people, you know, the right people hate it. When the when the when the wrong people start to love it, ruins it. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah right. Yeah. I agree. But yeah, we were talking about um, we were talking about Pride Month. I I like made this like new discovery. I don't know if it's a discovery or, or what the fuck it is. But I was like, it's not that I I've never been proud to be gay. Right. I, I'm. I'm I don't know if I'm proud to be gay. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, I don't know. Like, well, being proud is something you usually have to earn. Right. And like to say that you have, even to someone who says like, oh, I got Irish pride. It's like, okay, you were just born into this thing. I mean, right. not, you didn't earn being Irish. But the thing is that a lot of people still, well, you, you still have to, you're not, well, no one's denying that you're Irish, right? People deny that you're gay. Right, you're well, like do people I have... deny that you're gay, or do people just don't jive with you because you're gay? Well, both. Well, people think that it's a choice, right? Like people. Oh, okay, okay. In the sense of yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, because you saying you're born, I- you you have Irish pride. Yeah, I no guess one's... I forgot about the the whole people thinking it's a choice. Yeah, thing. I guess you forgot about homophobia. Well... Okay, <laughs> I'm here to fucking remind you. <laughs> it exists, and your people do it. It's real. <laughs> okay, it's real. Ryan Chung. It's real Ryan Chung. Here he goes. He can't let it go. <laughs> um, but so like I've never I, I don't I you know what I mean? Like I don't know if I'm proud to be gay just because I haven't had to earn it like or work for it. Like, you know, like my family was very okay with it, like and not even very okay. Like I didn't even have to come out. Like I was just like, this is my girlfriend. Right. You know what I mean? Like, my siblings were okay with it. My friends were okay with it. You know? Like, right. I never really had to, like, fight for it. Yeah. No, I because I know what you mean only because, like, we've talked a little bit about this off mic. And yeah. also, I've heard stories of people that I've met and through other people where it's just, like, 
real suburban, rural suburban family. The fa- he told the parents. The parents like had a fucking conniption. Sent them to like you know conversion camp school. Then they like have to do this whole thing where they move, and then they only talk to the mom, and the dad disowned them, and it's like a whole fucking yeah thing. And yeah. like. Like you said, you, it, I was mean, like old, complete, it was like completely. It was like completely. Oldest tale, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's like the oldest tale in the book, Yeah, it's right? like, like a nightmare. Yeah. yeah. You, they get kicked out. They, they're they homeless. You know what I'm saying? Like right. th- people really go through that. And I just, like my mom is gay. And then I have a, a, a uncle who died and he was a drag queen. Mm-hmm. And, and like I have like bisexual cousins. Like almost everybody in my family has either like tested the waters right. you know what i'm saying right. like and i guess they're just so open sexually you know yeah and it's just like it wasn't a fight for me and so like i i just always was like oh man i feel guilty for not being like gay pride and like like you know rainbow flag and like it just like it's pride month bitch and like being so but don't but but I, the problem is is that I'm what we want, right? Yes, right. I was that, that's that you got to where I was gonna take me f- five minutes to get to. Yeah, yes. yeah. Which is usually yeah. I'm always ahead of you mentally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. why I was able to diagnose. My you. word economy is terrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because mine is better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mine is better. This girl on TikTok when I posted that that um that clip of our podcast on my TikTok, I I didn't even realize this. This girl was like both. Because I say both. <laughs> she goes, am I spelling that right? <laughs> I'm like, wait until you hear the way I say Beverly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's just the tip of the yeah. iceberg. Get over it. Yeah. Get over it or get into it. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> but, uh, she, but she laughed. Anyway, so, um, so yeah, it's like I'm what we want, like, right? Like I'm what we want the future to be, but it's kind of sad that our future will forget our fight. What do you mean the future will forget your... Oh, like the shit from Stone... Like all yeah, that yeah, stuff? Yeah, Stonewall. You, you know, like, you know, the killing of... Uh, even though this is still happening... Like well, the, I feel like it's already been... It's already kind of, like, forgotten. I bet I bet you most... I bet you... I guess there's no way to know this, but I, I would venture to guess that most gays don't know about a lot of that kind of... The, his, the history, the political history. No, I think they do. I really? Think they, yeah. I think they do. Not the gays I met in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing in Florida is normal, though. I would never be like most. Are you talking about New York gays? Or are you talking about like? I would never say most people and then refer to people I know in Florida. <laughs> Just FYI, I would say like most weird people I know don't like. <laughs> but I, I mean, gays in general. I feel like a lot of people know about Stonewall, like hmm. that. Okay pride what you know what i mean i feel like most people do most gay people at least but even even let's say even if i didn't know about it whatever even when i learned about it i was like oh that's pretty cool but i i feel like sometimes i'm not impacted about you know what i'm saying well right like it's yeah because it was just never it was so normalized for you from the go it was never it doesn't sound like for as long as we've been friends you've never told me any stories where you were like I don't know, marginalized for being gay, right? I mean, with Kate's family, yeah. I've only been sure, through it okay. with like Kate's family, but I've never have to gone through it with like my own. Right. So that was like the only time where I was like, oh, like I get it. Like people do care. Right. <laughs> you know, because like my family just doesn't care. Like I, not even my, you know what I mean? Like most people, most people were like two or something. You know, when they go overboard and they were like, knew it. <laughs> knew it. Oh my God. Give me $5. Give me right. $5. You know what I'm saying? Like that's when they accept it too much and you're like, really back, really back. Give me some homophobia. Like, you know, <laughs> like don't throw it in my face. Yeah. I also hate when people say knew it because it's like, you ain't know it. If you I didn't, didn't know it. Shit. If I didn't know it, like, maybe you thought, but you ain't know it. I hate that. You right. know what I'm saying? I hate that. I knew it. I'm like, shut the fuck up. I do say knew it a lot, though. Oh, yeah, but you can't fight your genetics. Right, my my idiocy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that lives inside of me. Um, well, wait, to get back to your thing, because I, I, I do want to maybe try to pinpoint it, because, okay, like, I have this... I have like this joke. I think I've said it to you where it's like, I feel like my brother was pissed that my parents weren't pissed about him coming out 
You know what yeah. I mean? Like I, I think like I think there was like a part of him that like wanted it to be more dramatic. And when they were just like, yeah, okay. I mean, my mom was like had to like swallow it a little bit more, but like it was more like she had to give up. Oh, that's who he gets it from. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, you shot yourself in the foot on that one. <laughs> my I mom, my mom, for people listening, my, Carol texts me about some of this shit Ashlyn's been saying to me on the show. <laughs> you know what it is? I truly forget people listen to us. <laughs> <laughs> I truly forget that people listen to us. People care. <laughs> right. I just usually think it's me and you. <laughs> You're getting so oh, used to the lights and all the cameras God. and shit. How am I going to... How am I going to... I haven't even met Carol. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, back to Sean being dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> I like that better. That part's better. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, wait, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, like, I don't know. But, I mean, she had to, like, get over, like, some stuff. But I think it was more like, you know, okay, he's not going to have, like, a wife and kid. Like, there was mm-hmm. just, like, stuff, I think, when you're, like, parents, like, boomer parents, like, you just, like, you're like, oh, I'm going to have kids, and hopefully they have kids, and I'll have grandkids. Like, yeah. I think it was just a lot. And she's got some Christian value stuff to, to kind of retweak in her brain, but mm-hmm. it was fine, you know what I mean? Like, but what's interesting, though, is he's, like, I think he's got a little more of that, like, pride pep in his step. He definitely used to more. Like, I've heard, I think this year or last year or whatever, like, I've been to Pride Parade with him Mm -hmm. once or twice. I think twice. (laughs) Anyway, but, like, he, what? No, I'm just just laughing. and, And, like, but, like, here's the thing, but I've heard him more recently be like, I'm not doing the parade. It's, like, it's, like, they've jumped a shark. It's, like, commercial now. It's, like, tourist. Oh, He's like, I don't even fuck with that. Yeah, now. I don't go to the parade anymore either. He's like, I don't either. do that. It's just like Citibank with a flag parade. It's just like Apple with a flag parade. It's just like Nike with a flag. It's just like, it's just like a big ass commercial. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> like, it's just like an in-person floating commercial. But, but, but now, but okay, but now that I'm thinking about it though, but he's not like posting all this like LGBTQ stuff. He mostly just posts pictures of himself with like a speedo on and a bathing suit, and maybe he'll have the little flag oh, rainbow. Uh, yeah, like he's not really like like his his like pride like gay pride posts are like him with like ten guys at like a pool club. <laughs> <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like it's yeah. not like I, now like he doesn't post like political stuff like like because relating it was to easy that. for him. Yeah, it but was easy. I so, wonder if he has that same feeling you do, though. Like, I've never asked him, but like, well, I'm pretty sure that Sean is the future we want, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, right. it's like me and Sean, you know, where your family's just, just like living your life, okay? And then we're like, okay, so it's easy, you know? So okay, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, some people like changed, but like for the better. Usually, I feel right, like people right. are like, hey, you're gay, huh? Yeah, yeah, huh? yeah. Uh, Guess I can leave you around my wife, huh? I don't got to worry about you doing nothing, you little freak. Hey, can you take Sarah shopping? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, like, I feel like some people are like, oh, like, I feel like my brothers reacted like that. Like, oh, you like girls like us. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they were like, no men? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. No brother-in-law? <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. We're still going to beat up your girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wish they would. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you hear that, Kate and Dante. Yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I don't know. And, and then I've always felt bad because I always hate people who make being gay their personality. Yeah. But if you notice, lot. it's always like, I feel like it's kids that were rejected a little bit. So all this time I was like, Oh, you're making gay your personality. Like who cares that you're gay? Right. But it's, but it's also could be from an ignorant mind of like, who cares that you're gay? Cause it's like their fight, even though it is annoying, they're fucking annoying. Okay. People who are just gay and have nothing else. They're annoying. You're like, okay. They're like, they're like dog parents, right? Who, who are just like, look at my dog, look at my dog. They're like new pa- It's like when you make something your personality that shouldn't be your personality, you're annoying. Right, right. And what's, what's, yeah. And, and, and that, but, and, and I think that goes to any group of any kind, right? Like, I think someone could take on an identity for anything that they do or that they're like a part of or that they believe in, whether it's like, 
like do you, like just anybody who just is like yo is there any other dimensions to you besides this thing like whether it's like you're like we meet comics who all they do all they can talk about is comedy all they could do is comedy whether it's somebody who's really irish and they're like i'm at all the i'm at the irish yeah. i'm at the local irish uh, get togethers we talk about irish things we always, like it's just like bro what else is there is there any other dimensions of you like i feel like that exists across like all all things you know what i mean yeah. not just not just the gays which is good and bad at the same time <laughs> It's just, you know what I mean? It's human. It's very human right, it's of us. Human, right? It's, it's very human, human to have the ones to have like of all the gays to have like the ones where you're just like God, just enough. Just like st- you're making us <laughs> stop it. <laughs> you're gonna make them hate us, okay? Right. We just stopped. Like we just started coming out the closet. Right. Like stop it. We just got right. Stop it. Cut it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then you think about it. It's probably like these kids with like hard, you know, like. These parents that are like, no, you're not gay, or I won't accept a gay son. And it's right. like, okay, you're not gonna accept me for being like just loving someone that's just my same gender. Then I'm gonna be fucking gay. I'm gonna like, double down yeah, hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. It will be interesting to. I mean, if we're if we're gonna talk about like the guy version of that, right? I mean, we're talking like very overly like loud flamboyant right i i'm excited to see where they go i'm not even talking about loud and flamboyant oh what do what what do you have in mind when you when i'm like that person their 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 personality is just gay like yeah where it's like on where it's like over where it's like all well everything is a fight with gay people like Okay. Like everything is just like you really shouldn't say that, you know? Like right. or like, oh, but you don't really get it. And it's just like everything is just like, oh, I, I well, you know, I I also hate like and I do this, but I do it like like people are like when gay people are like I hate the straights, but I know people who like really feel like that. I mean, I say that because like I just love to hate a group, right. you know, any group name them, I hate them. You right. know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm the, equal hate opportunity. The closer to me, right. the closer I can relate, the more I hate. <laughs> right. So that's how I work. That's right. how I operate. But it's it's like, it's like those people who are, who are like, oh, and, oh God. I, you know what, too? I'm going to fucking say it. I don't even care. I hate people who come out the closet and have never dated the same gender. Oh, interesting. Who are like, I'm I'm gay, I'm bisexual, and then they've never dated someone of the same gender. I hate it. I don't care. Like, okay, you're sexually attracted to someone, but you don't know what it feels like to actually like walk down the streets like holding your so partner's you, you hand. You mean specifically date, not just hook up. Well, if you hook up with them, that's fine too, right? You can say I'm bisexual, right? But like those people will be like, I'm fucking gay and I don't care who cares. I'm fucking, g- I'm a lesbian woman. And you're like, you made out with like two girls last year. Like, right. Right. like talk to me when you're like walking down the street with your part, like holding your partner's hands and people give you looks. Right. You know what I'm saying? Talk to me when like people actually like not validate your relationship. Like, okay. You, like you make out with people like, oh, welcome. Like, welcome to Whoop-de-doo. the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I, and I'm not saying that I hate bisexuals. <laughs> no, but I'm not saying that. I mean, like, fuck it. You like both, both, I, you, both. There it goes. Both. You like both, I, you know, you like vanilla and chocolate. Good for yeah. you. You can have a Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Good yeah. for you. But I just hate the people who are like, 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 I I like fight for the gays. I'm fucking gay, and they're only gay for like Pride Month. You know what I'm saying? They only right. have like a girlfriend for Pride Month, right? And you're like, just fucking stop. Yeah, you're like in between two like straight relationships, right? Yes. Now. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I broke up with my boyfriend for Pride. I'm always single for Pride. Yeah. Well, lesbian for Pride. Yeah. I'm just like, but then I don't even care if that's your choice. But then they get like, they're like the ones that are like angry. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, they're the ones that are like a fight everything's a fight like you're saying that wrong like i'm like you're not even gay like you're right. not even like why do you even care because <laughs> it's fun yeah and it's pride month i fucking hate that 
I hate that. And that happens in comedy a lot. A lot of people, I don't give a fuck if they're listening. A lot of people will say that they're gay. It happens all the time. And they've never, ever, ever, ever been with the, uh, with the same sex. Only have been married to the same sex. Have only dated the, um, the opposite sex. I mean, only have dated like... Men to female, like females. They want to get booked on shows. They want to get booked on shows. Yeah, right. it happens all the time. Guess what? Straight white dude. I've been booked on gay shows, but that's just because I have a gay brother and a couple jokes that the gays like. And you, you're, you're and also my secretly be gay. And I'm gay. <laughs> you're also very metrosexual. And I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> you're like I'm gay, Ashley. Stop saying gay jokes. Stop making gay jokes. I'm gay. Yeah. It's Pride <laughs> Month. I'm gay now. God. How do you know I haven't made out with a guy? No, I know you have. I have. Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't for a bit. <laughs> I actually liked it, Katy Perry. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah. Remember when they asked Katy Perry if she's ever slept, if she ever kissed a girl after she made that song? I mean, yeah, even. No. Yeah, Katy Perry has never kissed a girl. No way. I swear to God. Am I lying? No, 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 no. I, I don't mean no, no way no, like no, no, you're no, no, lying. No, 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 no. I'm double checking. Oh, oh, yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah, you're, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Am I lying? Oh, Kate, you have to be, if you're going to be the producer, Christ. I mean, we pay you in nothing. At least have some respect for us. Okay, whatever. In my, From what I remember, Katy Perry, like, they, like, interviewed her and she, like, never kissed a girl. And she made this big hit and literally was like, I kissed the girl and I liked it. Like, remember, remember Tattoo, that group? All the things she said, all the mm-hmm. things she said, coming to my head, coming from my head. Yeah, yeah. They weren't gay. And everybody thought they were gay. Really? Yeah. Now she, ch- I didn't even ask her. She, do you have the answer for what we asked before? You're chiming in on other aspects of the show that you, we didn't even ask you to participate in. I know, I'm so sorry. But like, you what see, is going on with you two? <laughs> you two. <laughs> Get her under control. <laughs> you can't. It's Pride Month. Oh, right. My yeah. bad. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's Wait, I'm gay, though. <laughs> it's Pride. I'm gay. But even them, like people have been using being gay as a, like this whole facade like to get in the... And yeah, I really there's people doing that with other aspects of the LGBTQ world that bother me. But like, I feel like, whatever, we could bleep this out if you have to. But I, I feel like there's a lot of people doing that by saying that they're non-binary. We don't have to bleep that out. I, But I feel like saying that, me saying that is like controversial. But I feel like there's a lot of people, especially in New York and probably in LA, you could be- that are just like, yeah, I'm non-binary. And I'm like, yo... I, if I met you fucking a year ago, that would have never been on your radar as a thing. Wait, but you can also be controversial. You're just not spewing hate. You're not saying, like, go kill them. No, yeah, no. You, you, not- you can have a fucking opinion. I agree with your opinion. Yeah. I agree. I mean, th- these are the people that they're like, I'm non-binary. But they're like women who've yes. slept with men, dressed as women, identified as women. Like, it is so... Um, and we're not... Whatever. You feel the way you fucking feel. But it's just... Oh, it's like this... It's like everybody wants to jump on a bandwagon, like, and it right. makes me feel bad for people that are actually that are actually de- not, going yeah. through that and like make yeah yes, and that are actually like being like, no, I'm non-binary, like I truly don't right. fit a gender, like, and and that's a lot to go through, and then you go through it, and you're and people like start accepting you, and then everyone's like, I'm non-binary too, right? It's like allergies, you know what I mean? Like right. everybody yeah. like all of a sudden has allergies, like you're like, oh my god. It's like it's. I feel like it's almost like a way for someone to just be like, "I'm a super ally" without having to actually do anything. Like all they have to do is like put it on their pro their Instagram profile or something. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like it's just this like. It- you know what's interesting too? I I always like, and now that I think about it, I'm like, I hate girls who write she and her as their pronouns, and I'm like, why are you doing that? But then I'm like, okay, maybe they're doing that to let other people know that it's safe to use pronouns with them. Here's the thing. That's like a new corporate thing that's been going on. Not everywhere, but a lot. Like with my day job, like I've been seeing that more in emails. Definitely more with like the progressive customers that I have because I work in sales. Yo, here's what's funny about it. Not a single email. I'd say about a quarter of the emails I get have that now well they'll put their pronouns he and him she and her i've never seen one that says they them (laughs) like 
like, what is the percentage of the people in the corporate world? Maybe, but now that I'm thinking about it, I had the same reaction. And even in the corporate world, like, who cares? Who cares? Like, what is but, the percentage? But if they are, a, but if you are a he, she, they, them, whatever, what does that matter in the correspondence of an email? I don't think it. I mean, well, it would if you're like, uh, she. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I gave the documents to Sarah, and she will have them to. You know what I mean? If you, if they identify as they, then you have to put. They receive them, and right. you know what I'm saying. And and before I used to get angry, I'm like, if you're if you're Sarah, and I'm gonna call you a she unless you tell me not to. But then think about that, and it's like then only people who are non-binary have to do that. So it could be it could be a little exclusive, it, right? Right. That's what I'm. Exclusionary. Yes. Ex- right. Yeah. I was. Not, yeah. You know. No. No. I. You're right. You're right. It's Pride right, Month, right. so I think a little bit of sympathy. No. No. I, I was trying I to little, like do the math. I, I yeah. was trying to just like do the math in your head. No, you're right. I see. You know what's funny though? I think I'm just a little bit more gay this month, so I think <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little gay. My 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 gayishness has gone up this month. My, my you know I'm a little gayer, so I'm just like more sensitive. You right. know all the good things. <laughs> right. You know I'm more vulnerable, more open. You know I'm just extra gay. Right. You know. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah. I feel that. Me too. No. <laughs> you you have to stop saying it. <laughs> you have to stop saying it. Saying what? That you're gay. That I am gay? Yeah. But why? I'm like those girls we said I can just do it. It's, it's the month. You're right. My bad. I apologize. <laughs> I'm going to get canceled. <laughs> I've made out with two boys. We we t- talked about this already. I'm going to get canceled. People are going to be like, she's denying him. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're denying me my right. <laughs> to identify how I want to be identified. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I apologize. I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. I was wrong. Um, wait, how much? Where are we at on time? 43. Hell yeah. Did we um, Did we want to do our thingy? Or did we have something else that you wanted to? I'm just going to let you continue to do what you're doing. <laughs> well, do I we, didn't know if you wanted to do, do the... Do we want to... Should we? But I didn't want to cut you off if you had another thing. Can we? I think we should. I think we're going to. Maybe we should. I've been thinking. (laughs) 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 You're like. (laughs) Yeah, we should just. Okay, we should just do. We have. um, Today for our segment, we have who's your favorite queer person? And then who's your least favorite queer person? Because we're equal here. (laughs) And we. Don't discriminate. No, you know? we do not discriminate. We can love you and hate you. It doesn't matter your gender, <laughs> right? <laughs> or your sexuality. <laughs> I hate all equally. Yeah, I hate you equally. Okay, so do you want to go first? Who's your favorite queer person? Okay, uh, so my favorite is okay. This he's like. Have you ever heard of Carl Panzeram? Okay, he was this serial killer in the early 1900s. Yo, this guy killed over a hundred (laughs) people. And and not only did he kill people in the United States, he fucking took a fucking cargo ship down to South Africa and fucking killed people down there too and then blew up an oil rig just because he was mad at it. Yo, this dude was crazy. And he's my favorite. He went on an eight-year murder spree in New York. He bought a yacht boat. He told William F. Tafts he robbed one of his vacation homes in Connecticut, stole 38 caliber and jewelry and all this money, came to New York, bought a boat, and then lured sailors looking for work onto his boat, to, thought they were getting work, brought them on the boat, raped them, shot them, dumped them over the boat, and then took all their money and just like did this whole like route over and over again just killing sailors this is why we really shouldn't ask straight people their opinions (laughs) (laughs) that's where i fucked up guys look them up everyone's talking about all these serial killers like it's pride month and you couldn't even just give us something nice you had to destroy us like that like what he's like an i he should be there should be movies about this fucking guy but we're all worried about what's his name the the ted bundy the the ted bundy tapes like who gives a fuck? Yo, this dude was a fucking... There should be movies and books on this guy. And so we're just saying, like, no one even knows about him. No, yeah, yeah. No, uh, you know what? Like, now that I think about it, there is a lack of representation for gay people in serial killing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Like every time I watch like serial killers, I'm like, oh, he can't be gay. Oh, oh, we can't. Like I get it. He can't it. give us anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've always said that. <laughs> I've always said, let there be a gay serial killer. I'm going to be in a docuseries. Like, that's how I'm going to get booked. I've always said that. Thank you so much, Chris. I should have known. I should have known that you would come with such a great answer. I should have just fucking known. You can never be sweet and nice, you know? I gave you an opportunity. No, don't talk. I gave you an opportunity. What What do you have? No, I was just making sure I covered all my talking points when you're done yelling at me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Please no. Like Carl Panzeram talking check, points. Check those twice. Oh yeah, he killed ten people with that with the president's gun that he stole. That was fucked up. Yeah. Um oh yeah, and this was the last badass part about Panzeram. That when he so he was like in and out of prison his entire life, like Fort Leavenworth, Oregon, where they use like corporal punishment mm-hmm. back in the day. They would like put these guys in like torture devices. He did sixty one days in solitary, right? Yeah. This dude in his last leg of prison. They were like all these like rights activist people were like wanted to like let him out because of like mm-hmm. the, his the mistreatment in prison. And he put out a public statement that was basically like all because he was on death row. And he was like basically to all the activists and all the people that want to let him out. He was like, I hope your neck is one giant neck and I could have my hands around it because he's like I he was like, I want the death penalty he was like i ain't yeah. afraid of fucking anything he's yeah. like fuck all you activists and all this shit you want straight people to be on board with us start doing serial <laughs> killing <laughs> yeah that's that's how we're gonna get pride back to- month is when you guys should go on murder sprees yeah and kill straight people <laughs> yeah kill all the straights for real <laughs> Are you done? You're done with your Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, good. No, I'm good. I'm <laughs> glad. I'm glad you, you checked your boxes and, you know, you made sure that, you know, you picked a great serial killer there. Thank you. Thank you. No, I mean, I'm happy that he just didn't kill two people. You know what I mean? Then that would be boring. That's bad representation there. Right. Yeah. Go all Over in. 100. Yeah. Potentially more unconfirmed. But wasn't Jeffrey Dahmer gay? Uh, Yeah, there's like... So... Kind of, I think yeah. we have that too. Wasn't like like Aaron Hernandez gay too? That's what they try to pin it on. Oh, that he was like closeted yeah, gay every, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, in, in the documentary, everything is like Alex Hernandez. Though he bled to death at the football field, he murdered someone because he was gay. You know, right? right like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like his yeah. brain had no, you know, good, anything good in it. Everything in his brain was bad because of how many times he was hit in the head. Right. But honestly, what drove him over the edge was liking cock like <laughs> that's what made him kill people <laughs> right. so thank you chris i thank you i i really appreciate that um i'm gonna go with a more serious route like someone who's actually done something positive for gay people okay and who is really like taking us you know further in life than your little joke i'm gonna go with little nas x <laughs> I'm over here giving a fucking history lesson. And you're like, oh, something good for the positive. You're the gay template of the, what the gay scene. Then Lil Nas X. <laughs> Hell yeah. Because we don't need any more gay serial killers. I feel like every time there's a serial killer, like he might be gay and that might be the reason. But, but see, what was great about Carl was that he wasn't like a que- He was like, I rape can everyone I talk- before I kill them. Can I talk about Lil Nas? And <laughs> yes, can you get over sorry. your little boner over the serial killer? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Lil Nas X is a rapper. He's a gay rapper. We haven't had that outside of the closet. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's a lot of in the closet. Chingy. <laughs> Leave Chingy alone. He was. There was rumors. So what? Leave him alone. I'm just saying. Him and his friends are in the Holiday Inn. Leave him the fuck alone. <laughs> He's got nothing else. Who else do you think is going to the Holiday Inn and bragging about it? Future. F- <laughs> Future and his Percocets. Future and Chingy. <laughs> Future and his Percocets. <laughs> yeah. But I think I love Little Nas because he's just like, he is another representation that we need. Because everybody's like so mad. They're like, oh, he's grinding on the devil. And I'm like, what did you think a gay rapper would do? Like gay rappers went from like, like everyone is like, oh, how dare he? Like, you know, I miss like when like rap needs to go back and like it's for kids and stuff. And I'm like, 
I'm sorry, but what what from One Minute Man from Missy Elliott was like for kids? Yeah, what are we talking about? The 80s or like Run DMC <laughs> where they're telling us to go to school and shit? Like, and what are the, they talking and about? And Run DMC didn't even like become popular back then. Like, yeah. everyone was like, those are little bitches. They're not even rappers. Yeah. yeah, they like didn't have respect for like a long time. I love Little Nas. I think he's doing so good for the future. <laughs> Because he's just like this nasty ass gay man. I'm like, that's exactly like all these rappers are talking about like pussy, pussy, pussy. And then he's a gay rapper. He's like, dick, 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 butthole dick. dick. I haven't even listened to any of his tracks outside of like the two famous ones he had. Yeah. Or has or whatever. Me neither. (laughs) (laughs) I don't need to. (laughs) Right. You just know. That video of him dancing on the devil was enough. Yeah, oh my! I was just like, "Bravo! This is what we need." Well, it's funny too because the devil thing. It's like, come on! I, first of all, what is this like? Kiss in the nineteen seventies? Like, but rappers, shit? rappers sexualize everything. Right. Everything, everything. They sexualize everything from like cars to women to drawer, like right. everything, like fashion, like everything sexualized. Like, why? Why do we expect anything less from a gay man? I'm like, when I saw him, everyone was like, "How dare he?" I'm like. How they're a gay rapper? Here's what I say to those people. At least he wasn't lap dancing God. <laughs> it was the devil, yo. Who cares? Do we really all care about the devil? Everyone's like, oh, how could he do that to the devil? That's how you know people hate gay people, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Where they're like, the devil's sacred. How the devil's <laughs> a sacred being from the underworld. And now the gays are down there too? Dancing with him? <laughs> I think that's what he said too. It's like, I think he was like, everyone is telling me like, I'm going to go to hell. Like I might as well, you know what I mean? So he's like, but now you're mad that I'm actually in there. <laughs> right. Yeah. Next video, I'll do one with G- with God up there and then I'll go to heaven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They'll yeah, let, he'll yeah. let me up there then. Yeah, finally. exactly. Yeah. You'll be better with that. Cause at least <laughs> right. it's holy, you know, right. for the children. Right. Hey. So right. ridiculous. Who's your least favorite queer? Uh, let me guess like a priest or something. <laughs> All the priests at the Vatican. Um, you know, I don't know. I, I had, like, a really tough time, like, figuring one out. Like, Good, I like that. I, I, like, really couldn't. And this, not on even some, like. I like that. No, God. What, that I couldn't figure one no, out? God. Oh, no, because you don't want me to do. Anyway, so Carl Panzeran <laughs> mur- died 1930, September 19th. He's my favorite and my least favorite. I Actually, I was going to do that, and then I thought you'd be mad at me. So, yeah, he is my favorite and my least favorite. You well, thought now I'd be I mad to, at you. Yeah, because you're like, let's talk about this That's guy. how I wake up. I wake <laughs> up mad at you. Just go for it. Go, just go for it. I'm honestly going to make Carl Panzer in my both. I love how you thought that like making him your least was going to be like why I was mad at you, not making him your favorite. No, making him both my least, my favorite and my least favorite because, you know, he, he murdered yeah. people. Yeah. And raped them and stuff. And then I was going to do some fictional character from a movie and then I was like, that's hack. That is hack. So, I'm glad you didn't I just it. really, I, I honestly was like trying to find like some sort of like like I was looking if like up if like Adolf Hitler was gay or something like that. Like trying to find like some really evil person that was secretly gay, and I couldn't find one. My oh, Google search yeah, I looked like a hate person. I was like people who are evil that are also gay. I was like gay evil people. Like looking up all these things. <laughs> you were just like on Google. Is queer, Kim Kardashian sorry. queer? You're right. Is Adolf Hitler queer? <laughs> Is LeBron James queer? <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. You're just like looking all up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is my next door neighbor John queer? Like right. everybody you hate, and you're yeah. just like, are they queer? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, yeah. I have to say my least favorite, and I think you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna like this. My least favorite right now, right now. The, also, these are my like right now. Like Nas is not little Nas X is not my favorite always. I mean, not that he's on my negative list but you know i have new favorites every once in a while you know you gotta switch it up when you're gay (laughs) when you're queer my least favorite right now my least favorite queer person is demi lovato oh that's a good one yeah thank you that's a good one yeah thank you because like she like now she's like i'm non-binary and i'm like demi what about you doesn't identify as a woman 
everything you do is as a woman. Like, what about you? Doesn't I? And like, you know, she's bisexual. Who the fuck cares? I mean, I think she really is bisexual. Like, she's you know hooked up with girls who cares i don't even but like now you're non-binary and she had when, to make an announcement when, i remember it was when everything about you like the way you dress the way you carry yourself the way you talk every, like i feel like i have more of a reason to be like i'm non-binary than demi lovato <laughs> right, right. right you know who else too is like my least favorite that that girl uh sansa stark what's her name sophie turner even though she's hot, she's my least favorite right now. Did you get us the answer from the other thing <laughs> earlier? <laughs> Which is? Okay. Um, so when she wrote the song, she had never kissed a girl. Great. But like since then? Supposedly has. Yeah. Okay. I have one. Katy Perry. <laughs> <new> fa- <laughs> least favorite <laughs> evil queer. Evil queer. Or whatever. Bad queer. Whatever I was Googling. <laughs> 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 she's like she won a grammy and was like fuck i got i just gotta make out with a girl now right yeah she like kissed her mother on the mouth and was like i made out with a girl i did it <laughs> slip some tongue, slip some tongue. <laughs> but like uh sophie turner yes yeah she just came out as what bisexual um she didn't reveal what hers <laughs> oh it's a mystery she's a fucking mystery box <laughs> She's a fucking airhead mystery flavor. It's a mystery. She's married to a man, has always dated a man, has a baby. Like, but it's a mystery what she is. I, is she's an actress? Yeah. She's from Game of Thrones. Oh, okay. Okay. Like, you're, well, my, you're, you're not even, like, she came out as what? You said as mystery? They like- is that in the letters? I don't feel like there's an M there. Oh. L G B T Q I A plus. plus. So what was her? Plus makes it open ended. I thought. Isn't there a plus? I didn't know there was a mystery box though. (laughs) What do you identify? Like, what are you sexually attracted? Other mystery. (laughs) L G B T Q, and then it just just end with O. Yeah. Other. Yeah. What was her? Okay, this is what blows minds right now. This is what blows minds. I'm going to be honest with you, right? She was the one that was like shitting on, on Sansa Stark or Sophie Turner. She was like, can you fucking believe this shit? And now I'm asking her and she made me hate her. And so now I'm asking you the specifics and you're not giving me anything. Now I'm going to hate Sir F- Sophie Turner. And Sophie Turner is going to at me on Twitter and cancel me. Because she doesn't have facts. Yeah. You know, we were thinking about getting you a mic. Yeah. <laughs> she posted something on Instagram. Yeah. Here, I'll hold um, your mic for you. That had a... <laughs> <laughs> she posted something on Instagram. I don't know if the glares in here is his top 10 gay artists. That said, time isn't straight and neither am I. <laughs> she, she came out in a riddle. <laughs> that's how you come out to the world in, in a riddle oh oh okay this is, she's probably like giving us a teaser because she's gonna be like in the next batman or something <laughs> and she chose pride month <laughs> she's gonna be the riddler's girlfriend i have top 10 gay artists joe biden's health advisor trans 15 queer shows gay slang bucks county playhouse <laughs> the fosters trans woman who won how many states in the u.s have pride parades <laughs> I'm just, listen, I'm just catching up. That right there is the Google search engine <laughs> of a proud gay woman. <laughs> no, but honestly, what I was doing was I was uh, creating a um, pride trivia mm. for for the company I work for. And so they, they asked, like, if anybody wanted to come up with, like, um, a whole game, like, a couple of rounds. And so I just, like, came up with some trivia questions and then some, like, rounds and stuff like that. Yeah, but I, I, I honestly, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, it's just so weird to be like, Joe Biden's trans woman, like, transgendered woman who won. It's just like so, it's just, if, that's not, if that was your search, <laughs> I'd be like on a watch list. <laughs> I'd, call, I, I'd call her security and be like, watch out for Christopher Metcalf. <laughs> Does he have someone who's trans on his cabinet? We couldn't, we couldn't figure out if she was on the cabinet, but she's the health advisor. 
Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. I didn't I didn't know that. Yeah, she's the first trans woman who um has been sworn in by the federal Senate or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Did I also learned that while we're talking about like queer people, gay people, I also learned that the first woman to go in sp- to be in space, the first a- female astronaut is gay. And I was like, of course. Right, of course. Of course she wanted to go somewhere else than Earth. You know? <laughs> of course she wanted to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you know what's yeah. funny? I bet you, well, when, when was that? When was that? In the 80s? What? The first female to in space? Oh, come on. You know I'm not that into being gay. What am I oh. going to remember? <laughs> I was going to say I not, want, I was going to say, I, I see, I don't know what. what. She's dead. She's dead, though. Okay. She died, yeah, of, yeah, yeah. of old age or like a disease? Again, you're no, you don't know. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, because I was curious because I was going to say like if it was like in the 80s or something like that, I could see them being like, she's a lesbian, but it's fine. Well, let her, if it was a man, no way up there with the other fellas, but she's gay, let her up yeah, there yeah, in yeah, space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be fine. But when she went up in space, she was married to a man and, and then they got a divorce. Gay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Space. You know what they say? Once you go to space, you come back gay. <laughs> right, <laughs> the old saying. That's the classic. So many. What is it? Neil Armstrong, gay. You <laughs> start listing all the astro- famous astronauts, gay, all of them. <laughs> gay, gay, gay. <laughs> That's gonna be your next Google search. <laughs> astronauts that are gay. That space turned yeah. gay. Yeah. <laughs> That's why Jeff Bezos is going to space. Yo. He's coming back gay. I will not be surprised if you find out he's in some weird stuff. That dude. I mean, being gay is not weird, but I guess in well, your no, world no. it is. Well. I, I guess, I guess, I guess being weird is gay. I guess. I mean, I don't know. I haven't, you know, I don't really partake in the straight culture. Well, well you haven't lived. <laughs> <laughs> you have not lived. Let me tell you, you Tinder. Know- Oh, you think t- grinder? What do you mean? Anything straight people do, gay people do it better. I know. I'm yes. I know. I know. <laughs> Trust me. Let me give you a history, okay? Is, you think Tinder is fun? Grinder? They fuck, okay? P- gay people are better. Is is wait? I I genuinely don't know this. It it have you used gay women use grinder? I've I, only known Grinder as like gay dudes fucking on Grinder. I love how like how much words needed to come out your mouth <laughs> to ask that question. Because I was trying to think of what I was like, gonna say were, was like wanted, offensive or mean or something. <laughs> you wanted to be like, do dykes go on Grinder? <laughs> well, I didn't want it. No, that's not the part I was getting tripped up about. I was trying. I was trying to say it and simultaneously like, wait, this is okay when I'm asking, right? Because <laughs> I don't want there to be like a like. Right. Yeah. 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 Because uh, that time that we were all in a group and you turned to me and, we were, and was like, Ashlyn, do lesbian scissors. <laughs> While I was having a full on conversation with someone else. <laughs> it's like in your head, you were like, I know who to ask. Ashlyn. <laughs> no, I don't know. I've, I've never, I, I don't know. Okay. Because yeah. I can't, the way I know Grinder to be used where it's just like, you're on there to fuck. Like, I can't mm-hmm. imagine like lesbians using that. Why? Because lesbians don't fuck, according no, to you? No, Because like there's that. no real penetration? Not like that. I'm no, because you guys scissor. Because <laughs> you do scissor. <laughs> you know what's so funny? The reason I asked that is because in my mind at the time, I was like, that's not like really like there's other things besides that. I was like trying to like debunk the full like, oh, lesbians only scissor. And then me asking, it just sounds like I'm being rude and a jerk. It was just, I, no, I'm not a jerk, but it was just like out of nowhere because you were having a separate conversation and I was having a separate conversation. And all of a sudden, like the way you said Ashlyn was like urgency. <laughs> yeah, like I was something serious happened. Yeah, yeah. Like you were mad, like you were frustrated so much with the conversation you were having that you were like, whatever, Ashlyn, <laughs> I need your attention now. <laughs> I need your gay School is full. I need your gay mind. <laughs> Give me your gay mind. I can't imagine your conversations with Sean. Oof, God. Sometimes he'll like tell me about like hookups he had. And I'm like, I'm like fine with it, but it's I'm not it's like okay, but I'm not like, hell yeah. And not because it's gay, because he's my brother. 
Because he's you know a little what I'm brother. Saying? Like, like he's I don't go to him too. and be like, yeah, I hooked up with this girl last night and we fucking did this and giving him details. Like, you're my brother. Why am I going to talk to you about that stuff? But, like, he'll tell me about his, like, details of him hooking up with, like, three guys at once or something. And I'm like, cool <laughs> like i'm like what do you want me to say like pride it's pride month <laughs> you're my brother <laughs> like it's not that it's gay it's incest it's weird it's incest well it's not incest but it's just like i don't oh, want to know i don't want to i don't want visual just, details it's, it's, of him like pounding other dudes or being pounded by dudes just like i'm sure he doesn't want visuals of me sleeping with women it's because you get turned on. <laughs> that, yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. you feel uncomfortable. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, you got to stop getting turned on by your brother. <laughs> You've got this weird thing, man. You've got this weird thing where you like kiss your mommy and now you're turned on by your brother. <laughs> Something's wrong up there, man. Yeah. Yeah. Some cruel intention shit over at the Metcalf house. <laughs> <laughs> I want in. I'm Sarah Michelle Geller. <laughs> Sean's Ryan Philippi. <laughs> You can never be Buffy. <laughs> never. No, here. hell no. Do you have a would you rather? Uh, y- yeah. Wh- who was your, uh, okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Would you, you ready? Yeah. Would you rather be Carl Panzerim or Demi <laughs> Lovato? <laughs> All right, go ahead. One, two, three. Demi Car Lovato. Carl Pantinism, whatever his name was. Carl Panzeram. Yeah, Panzeram. <laughs> I'd rather be Demi Lovato. Of course you would. <laughs> of course you would. I'd rather yeah. be Carl, man. Just end it for me. Yo. I'd got- rather be off the deep end that way <laughs> than that other way. Yo, you steal a yacht, you kill people with a president's gun. That's fine, but at least I'm not taking real struggle from people who are not non-binary and being like, I'm cute and cool. Hmm, non-binary. That's what I want to be. Yeah. Cute and cool. <laughs> yeah. I'm in. I'd rather, <laughs> I'd rather be that degenerate than that one. Right. You well, know? She got to go on Joe Rogan and I'd like to go on there one day and that's not going to happen with the way I am now. But if I'm Demi Lovato, what up? Goodbye. <laughs>